that it still has its in like intricacies that can make it somewhat difficult. And like the nice thing about it is that I think you can do a pretty good job of just getting your body set up in it. So, um, right, kind of go through and you can do like your pre-manipulative assessment, right? And then, um, uh, I don't know if I call it the twist, but I call it like the tissue uh, like breakdown. So, right, you got one hand on distal transverse process, and then um, so like piece of form, and then opposite piece of form on the on the caudal one, and then like some people will do the kind of like twist if that <laughs> if that's like the Texas twist that he'll talk about. Um, so with that, what I'll do is I'll usually just kind of do like a general assessment, and then if I'm feeling pretty comfortable with the place, elbows are locked out. And then it's really just like a drop for my whole body. So I'll apply a little pressure, kind of feel, and then get it set up. And then I'll push straight down. So, um, I think it's like a pretty straightforward technique. Should be comfortable. We can like take a look, see if we can get some pointers for your shoulders. Um, some people have done it like this, I've seen, where they kind of do the opposite hand, but I like to do it here, where you're here. Um, Michael, and him, like just put your arms out to the side of the table there get like the scap out of the way and it's kind of same concept you'll see Lori just like constantly doing this with her spine patients or shoulder patients where it's just like getting comfortable just mobilizing Robin's talked about if um, she has an osteopenic but not parotid patient she'll use very like wide surface areas so she won't be here with like her um, hypothene arm and a piece of form doing this she'll kind of space it out a little bit but yeah, even like if you're just here assessing do just like a quick little one like that too but lock it out and then let the body do the work cool. questions on that one